hello sfdc folks i hope everyone is doing good so today i have come up with another very important topic that is apex sharing which is nothing but x enhancing the sharing of records to other users via apex class just like we do using sharing rules so as you know if we make any object as private then it will only be shared with the owner of that record for example see lead object has a private OWD setting so if you go to any lead record for example this one and check the sharing of this record to whom this record has been shared and what access that user has so you can just check here that since I am the owner of this record only I have the access as this is this object is made private in the OWD setting now what if I want to enhance expand the access to other users as well then you can say we can create sharing rules but apart from sharing rules, there are few scenarios that you have to you choose Apex sharing. For example, as usual, I will take one scenario here and build the functionality to show you the feature of Apex sharing. And it, due to that functionality only, the requirement, you will be bound to use the Apex sharing because it cannot be met with your normal sharing rule creation. So the scenario is, understand it very clearly, that whenever new leads are created, as soon as the new leads are created, it should be shared with those users, those users who have the, whose department is masters. For example, let me open this user and the department of this user is masters. And if I open another user, its department is nothing. So the, the new record that I will create, the new lead will automatically be shared with this user because it's department is masters now you can say why can't i create a sharing rule and uh, just provide the access to those users so let me show you that where you will get stuck over here so we can create a criteria based sharing rule let's provide this is the criteria of the record that will be inserted which is lead record okay and to whom you want to share this record with you have only these three options but here the scenario is like you have to share the record with those users who are dynamic no they are not con static or constants so you, even if you add those records into a particular group and if the department changes in later you have to come again and remove that user from the group and if some any other user which was not previously assigned to masters department has been assigned to masters then you have to go to that group and add that user so it's a lot of manual task but what if you want to make it dynamic automatic to share the newly created leads only with those users whose department is masters so let's see how we can achieve that so first of all let's go to our developer console and as i said that it's it, it, it it's related to creation of lead record the action should happen so as usual we will create a lead trigger on lead object which should be on after insert why am i using after insert is because based on the lead which is just inserted i have to provide its access to other users that means i have to perform dml operation on some other object apart from lead so i'm using after insert before i start writing the logic i want to show you something so there is an object for every x standard as well as custom object which is called share object share obj so if you see this is my no common lead object where uh, where which uh, these records will be created for and it has another standard object called lead share dot obj what is that let's open it up this is nothing but a junction between the user or group and the lead record to whom the access needs to be granted so this is this stores the lead id for which the access needs to be granted this stores the user id or group id to whom the access should be provided and this stores the lead access level what access you want to provide it has three two or three values read write and all these are the possible values of this field so our logic will consist of for all newly created leads we will first fetch the users whose department is masters and then assign and then create a lead share object for each of those users and insert into the database and then you will see that those leads are now shared with the particular users dynamically we don't have to add them into a group and then remove them 
uh, whenever the department changes. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll create a list of user. There we'll store the or use those users whose department is masters. User list. Let's name it like that. Then select ID comma department from user where department equals to masters full so this will give us all those users list to whom we want to grant access to of the lead object now simply just iterate over those leads which are newly inserted new lead as this trigger will give it give me with this context trigger dot new this will give me the list of all those leads which just got inserted and my trigger got fired it can be one lead record it can be multiple lead records at the same time getting inserted so we have to bulkify our code keeping in mind that there can be multiple lead records inserted at the same time now what will i do is i have to create a lead share object for each of these users let's open it up again so this is an individual junction object and for each user and each record one lead share record will exist so let's iterate over our users for whom we want to create the access for user and yeah sorry i will change that out it should be the object of that iteration then short name and then the list to whom which we want to iterate now we will create the object of this particular object lead share let's name it as lead share obj equals to new lead share And I will just start putting values into each of those mandatory fields. The mandatory fields are only lead ID and uh, access level as well as user or group ID. So lead ID will be the new lead that is just got inserted ID of that lead. Then there is user or group ID. This is nothing but the user ID to whom the access needs to be granted let's provide it as well and then comes the third field which is access level where is the lead access level okay and i will give edit access or let's say only read access we only want to give the read access okay now since we are inside the loop we cannot just insert this record directly we have to store this into a list and then we can insert this all at once. We'll create a list of this particular object. Bad. Should be like this. List new. Yeah. inside the loop only once the record or the object of the lead share obj is created we'll just add it into the list and after the outer for loop we'll insert that list okay. so it's saved now so the logic is very simple suppose one lead got created so it will come into the, this loop and that lead this that uh, newly created lead will be stored here now i am iterating over this used list of users and assigning a creating a new lead share object for each of those users adding them into a list providing the necessary access and then inserting that lead share object all at once let's go and try to create a new lead new lead 
as as i showed that this particular user has the department as master so this new lead should have the access this should be shared with that user okay let's go to the sharing button and if you can just click on edit see apart from the owner another user which has the department masters also have the access and this access is nothing but the read access that we have provided from our apex class see we provided the read access see how it is dynamically we are sharing the records to conditional based users not the group of users not static users but conditionally to those users who fulfill certain conditions okay and i have maintained all the best practices of a trigger that is bulkification and uh, inserting the records after the loop which is the best practice again this is how it is done now you will be wondering what is the object share share object name of custom objects so you can easily identify that lead then the share object will be like lead share dot obj what about the custom one so in my org i have a custom object called seminar let's see what is the share object name so it, it's just the difference of double underscore the name of the custom object double underscore then share this is how the share object is named for cust custom object i hope this epic sharing session was helpful thank you for watching